and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and it's time for tip and trick number 43. So this tip and trick is in relation to when you get a diamond painting, when a diamond painting arrives with you. Now there are a few different ways that a diamond painting can be sent. You can get, let's have a look, let's grab grab one of these. So you can get a diamond painting that gets sent with all these baggies that are joined together um, that make up your colours for your diamond painting or you can get them like this one which has come with all separate loose baggies. Um, and what I do recommend with each diamond painting, before you sort of put it away in where, however or wherever you store your paintings, is that you check that you've got the right colours. Um, so some of them may not have DMC numbers on the bag, um, but you can always go through and check that you do have, so for example, this one, while it has DMC numbers on the canvas, this one has 24 different colours in it. So what I would do is go through and check one that I have 24 different colours, but also that the colours pretty much ma match the symbols. So for example here, number 24 is a purple, number 23 is a yellow, you know, so you're going through checking that you've got 1 to 24 and that you've got you know, the, the right colours, pretty much. Because these ones tend to be done by weight, that is pretty much all you can do with that one, but you're taking the best steps that you can to determine that you have the diamonds you're supposed to, so that it can go into your stash and therefore be done when you're ready to do it. Now, some diamond paintings, this one included, takes a little bit longer, but in turn, um, maybe a little bit um, more precise, maybe. Now, of course, there can still be mistakes, but this one comes with an inventory sheet. So it does tell me that I need 23 diamonds of 154. I've been sent a bag, uh, and these bags tend to hold around 200, roughly. Um, I have 10 bags of these which would give me 2,000. I need 1,899. So as long as I've got 10 bags, I'm good. Um, and then I do have one here that I need 48 bags of. Um, but one of the things I like to do when I do get a painting like this is to check off that I do actually have everything I am supposed to have. So 3865, I have two. Yes, and I just keep picking up the bags and doing it this way. So 762, get hold of a couple more. 819, one bag. Quite a lot of these are one bag due to the design. It's a matter of shading. I do have more of these though, so I should have 10. So I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10. And then most of the rest of these, according to my sheet, will be singles, most of them. So that just says 74. And it won't be a 74. It's lost some of its number. Okay, so I think that is 3774, but I'm going to put that to one side while I cross-check off the rest. It looks the right colour according to the colour of the sheet and the numbers would match up if they'd all printed on but because it's not printed on right and I only have one bag I'm going to put it to the side until I've done the rest so 414 310 does say I should have three which I do so let's do some of all these other individuals so 154 I'm going to have a few of those left 3371, 
3779 Find the numbers 3740 535 which is up there. Do my last few singles before I get to my absolute loads. 316 3713 3042 That's another one. So that looks like it's 3756. 3743. So yeah, that one is 3756. Colour matches, number matches, but it's misprinted. And that one is 3774. Though in this painting, I need two of those diamonds. I think I'm going to have enough. And then 5200. Now, for this seller, they have sent me individual bags. Do note that some sellers, um, so if they don't just put them all in one bag, some sellers may send you a bigger bag. I'm just trying to find one of my, oh, here we go. So this is one of my paintings that comes in separate bags but it does also have some bigger bags so just to compare that is the size of one bag that is the size of another this bigger bag equals five of these smaller bags so that has about a thousand diamonds in so if you get a painting that tells you it should have 48 but you don't, you have like eight big bags and eight small bags, for example, or maybe nine big bags and three small bags, that still adds up to 48 small bags. Um, okay, so let's check, we do have 48. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. So I do have 48. So I can then safely put this painting away knowing that as much as I possibly can, I have checked that I have what the seller tells me I should have. Um, and then if I don't get to it for another year or so, then, you know, there still is a risk of there being missing diamonds, but you're never gonna know that until you actually do it because things can happen even just such as dropping them or numbers potentially being really close. So sometimes a seller will, you will need 199 diamonds and they only give you one bag because it should have 200 in it. Um, and if it's not quite got 200 in it, you are going to be a little bit short, but we do what we can. Um, so yeah, today's tip and trick is when you do get a diamond painting, whatever type it is, just check that you either have the exact numbers of bags they say you should have, or that you've checked off that say so for example this one I've got one here because I moved them into these bags um, so check that you have the number one all the way through to the end so that you know you know that you have at least the right number of diamonds a bag's not got missed in production something like that hasn't happened and you don't find out you're short until a year down the line do that quick check and then pop it away into your storage until you're ready to do it. Um, it can save some heartache. If I found I was missing any of these, I could get in contact with the seller now, give time for them to get them to send it out to me, especially if it's taken a while to get to me. It gives me time for that to arrive rather than going to kit up a painting and being disappointed because something's missing. So yeah, that's one done. I've got one more to do in round to check off and then this one can be popped aside until I'm ready to do it, hopefully soon. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to y'all again soon.